This week we met up with some of the entrants and organisers for this year's Castle Douglas Soapbox Derby. The event takes place on King Street on Sunday the 9th of July. The first race at one o'clock, but we'd imagine there's got to be a lot of people kicking about from 10 o'clock in the morning. We've got producer stalls further down the street, uh, fairground rides further down the street from that. We've got a few places up the top of the park, big TV screen, people to watch. Cause the first year we took away from people couldn't access the street very well with prams and wheelchairs, so we've made our own seating area. So we want people to bring their own chair and other a family day out. Yes, this is Blood Runner 2, which is hopefully the new improved faster and definitely lighter bike that we've got. It's a solo bike now, so it's definitely 16 and a half stones lighter because Gary Hansen won't be in the back of it now. So we'll try to keep a bit more speed this year. Um, we've dropped the jump a little bit and we've doubled the size of the start ramp. Um, which is now built on a scaffolding on the top of the trailer. So we've got a nine foot platform to start off of. Um, we've added a new obstacle in, I don't know if we're keeping that as a bit of a surprise or not, are we, Matt? Um, and we've still got the seesaw. It was quite a good one. It's quite a fun one to see on the day. Um, so the, the carts go up the seesaw and also the seesaw will drop. Some of them, if they've got enough speed, it actually turned into a ramp on the day as well and they're jumping off the top of it. Um, it seemed to add a Quite a fun factor to it. Uh, we think it's a great project for us <clears throat> for a number of reasons. Um, as older men it gives us an opportunity to um, integrate with the members of the public and other competitors. You know people of a different generation to us and also it's a great team builder. We've had about six guys involved in that. It's been there's been woodwork, there's been bicycle work, we've got bicycle parts on here, um, painting, um, the signage was also done by different, different. it's all done in-house, the whole lot, most of it with, with donated material. Yeah, so this year we've got our old cart from 2019, the winning cart from then, um, we've modified it somewhat, uh, we just don't have time to rebuild a whole new one ourselves. Probably spent about 20 hours modifying since last time, um, we had to do a lot of repairs as a damage from the, the first run of 2019, um, damage the chassis and the main body and the bucket as well. Um, we've just been repainting, um, rechecking everything on the cart, checking all the welds, redoing the brakes on it as well. And because we've got a new driver with the change of seating position and the steering column, which was welded, we had to cut that and, and modify somewhat. Yeah, it usually is, but I mean, the, the teams help each other out. You know, it, it's, it's just about taking part. For us to raise profile for the, the blood bikes, and we'll have a stand there as well if people want to come along because we're a local charity that operate out of the region. So yeah, you won't miss it anyway. Yes, it is. <laughs> in 2019, we were fourth in terms of fastest and we're hoping to uh, come first this year, obviously. But yeah, there are some other good entries in there as well, if we have to say. Um, we've, I've seen the Prothy bike entry, which is absolutely stunning, I think. But, uh, and there's a couple of other entries that are quite good. Uh, I'd like to say no, but yeah, there's, there's a couple that we've, we're keeping an eye on. Um, there's still a few we haven't seen pictures of, and they are the, the most kind of, for us, it's a little bit uh, un, unsure of how well they're, they're going to do. This was the same from 2019. The, the entries that we didn't know, we hadn't seen pictures of our carts, they were the ones that were fast in the day. Hey, bit of fun and, fun and laugh. Um, obviously we're trying to bring people to the area, something to do during the summer holidays um, on a Sunday as well so it's hopefully more available to people that work and just enjoy the area, enjoy the time. Because it's, it's good fun, it's, it's a, a family fun day and you'll get a laugh, all the teams are they're all keen to help each other out and it's, it's just good, it's nice. Nice for Castle Douglas, get everybody out in the streets and there'll be lots of stalls and vendors there. And it, it's just a good fun day. Just a good entertainment day. You don't often get to see this kind of thing uh, in this part of the world. Uh, Castle Douglas, the way they're setting the, the course out down the main street means the, the crowds and the food uh, vendors round about. It's a real good thing to watch. I think Matt McCurley and his team have done a great job, really. They've done a fantastic job for Castle Douglas. Mm -hmm.